spotlight stories are a fantastic new way of telling narratives and one of the really exciting parts of that is it forces the viewer to be interactive. They have to find their own narrative through a story. The clear obvious challenge we saw from the start of this project was the fact that there is no camera rig that filmed the complete 360 degree view of the world at a cinema quality. So that pushed us towards fisheye lenses that allowed us to capture large portions of our 360 degrees with as few cameras as possible. It's just looking at what lenses are being used, these ones are very special, there's four of them, they're all going to be slightly different and we needed a perfect calibration of those lenses. We ended up writing some software that measures these lenses incredibly precisely, so much so that not only does it remove the distortion but we get rid of the chromatic aberration and things like that as well. It would help sharpen the images to get the most precise tracking out of the four cameras. One of the key onset tools that we developed was what we call Mill Stitch. Mill Stitch is quite an impressive hardware software solution that allows you to stitch these incoming sources in real time and it allows the filmmaker the ability to essentially look at the piece and interactive control a window inside of a 360 environment and emulates what the experience would be like at the end format. What we did build into the system was a recording system. We record the live stitch. We also record the user input. This automation of the user input married with the live stitch, we can then supply to the edit house, which uses that for offline selects, which speeds things up. We went in the direction of creating primarily CG environments, which meant that the stitches between the different points of view of the different cameras could be blended more seamlessly. If you hold your finger up, blink one eye, blink the other eye, the finger will move. The same thing happens when you have multiple cameras trying to film the same thing, meaning you will see an object from multiple directions because you will move around it, and you have to take parts that you can't see from one camera that need to be patched up from a different camera. As we moved into a more full CG approach to the environments, we had a huge amount of control. We could manipulate the environment and that we had more freedom for the director so that he could move the camera where he wanted, when he wanted, without constantly considering implications in post. Project this big, anything that's not correct in your pipeline becomes very visible. And we've now fixed all these things, so we now have an amazing, stable platform to work on. This project, even if it was considered just a traditional shot, I think would be a huge visual effects challenge. When you start to look at all the events that are happening from the huge sweeping camera moves, the continuous aspect of the shot, and the scale of the effects that are happening. Our asset count and the fidelity of our assets sort of went through the roof. One of the biggest problems we had was just getting our head around the numbers. We ended up with well over 100 cars, multiple blocks of buildings being laid out all the way out to the far horizon line of the LA City skyline. And this is also beyond us, one of the biggest VR projects undertaken. Some of the innovations that we've done should actually translate and help us with other VR work as we move forward, especially the mobile review that allows us to review this 360 work on mobile devices. Virtual reality is a whole new world, and through this project, the mill has really positioned itself at the very frontier of an expanding technology. We gotta go!